I now invite Dr. Lavish Bhandari to give his perspective on the bill. Distinguished uh, panelists, uh, distinguished uh, delegates, friends. Uh, it's, always, uh, uh, it's always a problem coming in last after all the eulogies have been done. Uh, but I also happen to have worked a lot with Vivek in many other uh, studies, uh, of reports, uh, and a whole lot of other uh, things that we have done together for many years. Uh, apart, from, uh, uh, apart from those, I also happen to have interacted quite, quite uh, intensively with Vivek on, 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 on many aspects of the Indian economy. So I would I'd like to just talk a little bit about the character of this book, and I'll draw from that. So first, and I think that's the most interesting thing about Vivek's uh, way that he looks at it, he, he handles each problem like a diamond. Uh, so if you pick up any of the chapters or monographs in this, uh, in this book, essentially he takes a problem and he looks at all the facets of that problem. It may come in from history, it may come in from technology, it could be uh, the, the, the governance issue, the policy issue, and could also be purely the mundane uh, facts associated with that problem. So for a, for a reader who's not really clued into that particular, uh, particular issue, you really get a very good perspective. So the second part about Vivek's uh, writing is that uh, it's very, very crisp. So if you are one of those fast readers, uh, it won't work. So you have to read a bit slowly uh, because it does take a little, uh, little bit of effort to be able to, uh, to to digest all that he has to there. There is a lot of knowledge there. He has uh, essentially uh, brought in his whole understanding of the laws, the governance issues, the, all the discussions that he has with various people, whether they are uh, private sector professionals or for that matter within the government. The third part, which I think was really interesting about, about this book, is the whole range, gamut of things that, that, is, that is covered. In fact, it's, uh, you just read this whole book, and in a sense, it gives you a very, very intense look at the Indian economy and how, it's, uh, how various facets operate. I'd like to draw from just one part of uh, this particular the, uh, set of characteristics. And uh, what really this whole book is about is about simplicity. Uh, the Honorable Minister did speak about how important it is to get the capital output ratios and entrepreneurism, et cetera, all of that together. Uh, Mr. Panda also spoke about uh, this whole problem that entrepreneurs have about not being able to or, or not really incentivized to hire. It all boils down to having a simple set of rules. And in a sense, this, all this book talks about is simplicity. So whether it is the chapter on GST or whether it is a chapter on, uh, on the various uh, the laws and rules and regulations governing the private sector, whether it is the public-private interface, uh, whether it is purely simple a policy issue, it's all governed by one inherent thing that Vivek always stands for, and that is, let's keep it simple. Uh, so with that, I'd like to stop. I don't, really don't think I can say much more than that, but uh, thank you very much. <laughs>